All right, yo, yo, yo. Welcome back to Fierce to Fathom episodic series. I'm missing Iron Bark Lookout, but I'll get to that. I promise I'll get to that. But we're going to go ahead and do Woodbury Getaway. I'll get around to Northwood Hitchhike, though. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Episode 5. I'm excited. I, I, I mean, I wanted to... I, I don't know. Let's play. Let's play. Let's play. December 8th. Need a coffee to get done with the day. There's space to get up. Okay, let's get up. This reminds me of this one game we played where we're in like an office building. Oh my. Oh, that was such a good game. I'll put a little, little thumbnail right here. Click it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It reminds me of it. Okay, let me get some coffee. I have no coffee today. No coffee today. Take a little break. Yes. Taking a little break from coffee, but I'll be back. I need a water. It does need water. Maybe next week, get back to the coffee routine. Uh, here we go. Turn it on. Um, my sensitivity is a little high. So let me let me turn it down real quick after this coffee. Oh, that looks yummy. I needed to put I don't feel like putting my I don't I don't feel like uh getting my app out and doing all that. I'll just sip we sip on it. Actually I will. Okay, perfect. Had to go all the way down to needed to use the restroom to 400 dpi but that's fine gonna sip on it a little more oh that's yummy okay which one am i supposed to use i i i, I didn't read the okay woman let's go let's close i need some privacy here that's what i said i, I didn't read the the details of the game i just hopped on on it oh i guess we gotta use this one just gotta make sure you gotta clear you know check your premises my hands were full oh we gotta finish it there you go so what is this oh a soda oh, can we use the bathroom first can we like scroll up to open okay what are we drinking so much where's the water can we use some water around here i was done with it there we go let's use the bathroom oh i was gonna say wait is there a, a talking meter Who's that? The maintenance man. It's just the maintenance man. You smile a little too much, but it's all right. Good smile. I like it. Whoa, man. Sorry, didn't know anyone was in there. It was gave me a okay. Well, now I got I got a pig. I'm I forgot. Well, let's say that one. I guess. I, I'm so sorry. Should have knocked before I came in. But there isn't. But, but there isn't usually anyone in here this late. Nah, it's fine. Just doing your job. You, you want to get home too? Get your food. Or, you know, get home. Eat your food. Relax. Again, I'm sorry. I usually do knock, but I'm a little bit frustrated tonight. What must have slipped my mind? What has you frustrated? Someone keeps throwing coffee cups on the floor all over the office. It's been happening for weeks. That's That's crazy. Oh, do I, I? I gotta admit it's me. I gotta. I, I didn't know that. I didn't read that option. It's gotta be me. I gotta say it. I gotta say it. Did someone raise you in a barn? There's trash cans all over the office. I like an adult and use them. I'm sorry. Well, I need to get back to it. Don't want to be. Don't want to be here all night picking up coffee cups. Have a good night. Close the door. Oh wait, just leave it open. People know, so people know, right? Okay. Uh, let's pick. Can we pick our trash? Hey. Whoa. The soda was already in there. I did throw it, but. All right. Can we can we go a little faster? Okay. Snack for me. Thought I heard him coming. All right. Let's get back to work. Let's get back to work. See, they're calling me. Whoa. Don't hang up, don't hang up. Oh, I have to sit. Okay. Hello? Go for Sydney Harper. Let's just hey, Harp, it's Mike. Hey, what up, Mike? I've been trying to call yourself for the last two hours. It just keeps going to voicemail. Is everything all right? Yeah, my phone's been acting up. My battery died. It was my, I think my battery died when I checked for trying to change my sensitivity. Oh, snap. I was starting to think maybe you were ignoring me. <laughs> uh... No, it even cut out on a client earlier. 
I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, um, okay. Uh, anyway, uh, what are you still doing at work? It's getting kind of late. Oh, I will say, but Mike's a little shy. Mike's a little shy, but you know, it's all right. He called as, as a check up on, I don't know the relationship, but you know, anyways, I don't know the relationship, but whatever. All right. Work has been overwhelming lately, just more overtime. It's overtime, I guess. Damn, Art, that sounds rough. Good thing I called to cheer you up. Oh, well, hold up. We were assuming things now. Um, about our trip, did you get a chance to book the rental house? Just really wanted to see you. And Nora. Who's Nora? I was going to do it after work. No worries, Harper. I don't want to stress you out. As long as you book it tonight, I think it'll be fine. Okay, okay. Hey, I was thinking up, since we both live in the city, maybe I could pick you up and ride together. It'd be nice to catch up. Catch up on what? I don't know who you are, Mike. You know, save on gas and relive the good old days. Just a little bit of Mike and Sydney time before Nora gets there. I, I can't say no. I can't say no. Sounds good to me. Great. Sounds good. Uh, I guess I'll let you get back to work then. Oh, uh, wait, one more thing. Okay. When you book the rental, please make sure to keep it under $100 a night. Uh, is that an option? You can do that? Nora and I were talking, and she's been on a pretty tight budget. Things haven't been going very well for her. Hey, if Nora can count on anyone, it's me. It'll be just like the old college days. You always had a knack for finding the best spots. Okay, so we're like a trio from college days. Okay, I should really make the booking now. Right, right, of course. Sorry for you. Oh, my bad. I'm just... Excited. I'm excited too, Mike. I'm All excited right. too. Talk to you later, Harp. I'll see you later, Mike. Get to his rainbow sheets. I've got a little tutorial on this. I can figure it out real quick. But I'm assuming I'm just. Oh, yeah. Just messing around. The overtime's done. How do you shoot? I'm dead. No, Harper. Yeah, that's not gonna. No. No, oh, if you you're not uh, you no, know, we can't. Uh, no, no, we can't do that. It's just a little YouTube action. Oh, whoa, whoa! All oh, right, I gotta do the okay rental cabin. I was typing in YouTube.com at Prince Fatman. We're staying in the Woodbury. Yeah, okay. it's, it's three fifty a night. Okay, so between three people, uh, it's, I don't know. It's not. It's not gonna work. Two forty nine. Oh, I see. It's gonna make me pick. Oh, right here. Yeah, no. This is like a Minecraft house, boy. No one want to stay in no Minecraft house. Oh, it depends. 99 a night. 99 a night. Oh, it's a night. Okay, my bad, my bad. What? This is what? This is so big. 99 a night. But this is two stories. You know what I mean? Probably has an uh, attic, a little basement. See? Something's fishy about this one. We gotta book it. We, <laughs> we gotta go for it. One and a half share bathroom. Two beds. Hey, three guests. Yeah, three guests. Someone's gonna have to get the couch. It's all right. I'll get the couch. We're gonna do confirm print. I'm a couch type of gal, anyways. Hey, I'm assuming you get hundreds, if not thousands, of stories sent daily. So I'll give you a basic rundown of something that happened to me. Oh. Sorry. Some of it's written weird, but I was rushed. Oh, I gotta I gotta click it my bad. When I was in my early twenties, I worked at a big consulting firm in my city. Life at the firm was a constant jiggle of deadlines, client meetings, and trying to prove my worth, which didn't leave much room for leisure. Let alone a social life. The job paid well. Sure. But at the expense of our mental peace. You want to have peace. You always want to strive for peace. I'm Sydney Harper. And the story takes place during one of those days. But one of my college friends, Mike, suggested that we take a weekend getaway to rural Vermont. Which sounded like a perfect break from the cycle of work. And my other friend, Nora, was quick to jump on board as well. The plan was simple. We rent a small cabin. Uh, it's not small. I'm going to tell you right now. It's, it's, it's not a small cabin. Close our shift early on Friday. Leave. And be back by Monday. Mike came to pick me up. So we're spawning in the car soon. Two days later. Okay. So it was Wednesday. Whoa. Okay. What up, Mike? Oh, got the PSP. So that's got to be a PSP. That's limited edition too. Oh, Michael. What's up, Michael? Uh, hang, hang up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm, I'm not picking up calls at this time, Michael. I'm sorry. Oh, that's a uh, Michael short for Mike. Okay, I'm assuming. Oh, that was some random guy, actually. Hold up. That was a Mike. Okay, uh, this is a confirmation to the booking. The code is 517. What's that noise? 5176. Text to Michael just booked. Do you ever answer the phone anymore? Call me, please. I'm off work now. Okay, I'm heading that way. 
Pull into the parking garage now. You're downstairs yet. Let me get my luggage. Hey! Oh, that's not him. If you're pulling... Oh, right here. Yup. I was about to say. If you're pulling in, this is you right here. Slow down. Slow down. Okay. Thanks. What up, big dog? Hit. Oh, snap. All right, let's go. Oh, you little hug. What up? Are oh, you taller than me? That's still how you hug people. What do you mean? Why don't you hug me like you missed? What? I don't know. What? Hug me like you missed me. I get it. I get it. But I don't know if I don't know. If, I don't know if Mike's type of guy. To, I don't know. I don't know. Mike's just Mike's a little teaser. Mike's a little teaser. Just a hug. See if you smelled first. Fair enough. But for the record, a shower just for the occasion. Nothing's too good for Sydney Harper. Okay, we'll chocolate, we'll chocolate, we'll let chocolate. Fine, that's fine. You look good. My, you look, you look standard, Mike. You look cool. You look I. Right. Thanks for picking me up. Wouldn't have any other, uh, any other way. I'd be nice to have company on the way. This old truck brings back so many memories. <sighs> I guess. Right, this bad boy has been through a lot. A lot of miles. You can just throw your stuff in the back. We'll get on our way. All right, then, Harper. I'm a harp. Are you ready to hit the road? Where's Nora? She meeting us there? She'll meet us there. All right, all right. That's cool. The route through the city would have been a detour for her anyway. All right, then, harp. All right, then, Mike. Let's get in. 4.26 p.m. Friday. So I'm assuming it's... It's probably December 10. I'm going to say December 10. We started to snow. Could be nine though. Could be nine. Definitely not eight because we booked. Harp, isn't it weird? We used to dream about escaping our college. And now we're here. Trying to escape from the life we wanted to live. You know, get to the working life, you know. Get the nine to five going, get the money in, get the house, you know. Yeah, we couldn't wait to get to the real world. Maybe we just didn't know how much the real world would, you know, suck sometimes. Change is hard, like trying to adjust to the new job. Speaking of jobs, how's it going so far? We're working on this project that uses machine learning trends. It's pretty cutting edge stuff. I gotta check my text, Michael. Hold up. I mean, Mike. Forgot we're on nickname terms. Sounds like you're shaping the future. It didn't let me check my text. Not quite Tony Stark yet, but I'll take it. Did you see that? Did you, I didn't see nothing. I was putting down my chair. My bad. Did you see that school bus? I guess. We'll say this is a school bus. See what? There was a school bus back there by the old house. Maybe it's a project. Oh, I've heard people. Whoa, deer. And I'm not talking about that deer. Oh, snap. That was close. I was fixing my chairs, though, man. It came out of nowhere. Well, we came out of nowhere for the deer, too. Around the internet that a Native American lore, seeing a deer cross your path is like getting a message from the universe. Oh, I saw like three, four deer like, like three weeks ago. What I was saying is it's just speeding up. You better slow down, big dog. What I was going to say is that school bus, that people like buy old school buses trying to re, re innovate them. Someone would say that they wanted to do a little school bus and tour America and something. That was pretty neat. So maybe, maybe it's like a project. That's what he means. How far is it now? Are we even close? Uh, should be about an hour and a half from here. Oh, I'm about to take a nap. Take a little sleep, sleep, you know? Driving through the snow kind of feels like we're traveling through the intergalactic space. Ah, I could see it. What do you mean? Look at the way the snowflakes swirl around the headlights. It's like stars and galaxies rushing past us. Okay, Mike. It's kind of beautiful. You know what I kind of don't like about this is that you can't pause it. You can't pause it. What if what if I gotta go answer a little phone call real quick? What if I gotta, you know, get a little drink, some water, or, you know, get parched, all this, all this talking, you know? There's no pause button. Cause look, can't pause it, which is fine. It's fine. Set my two hours aside, record. Yo, Harp, 
Check that out. Check what out? Moe's? Moe's Pizza. Shh, shh, shh. Oh, we're going in there. Hey, hey, he whipped it in here. You paying, right? You know, Harp, gotta tell you. It's new GPS systems or something else. Okay, that's cool. I agree. This pizzeria is exactly where you pierce on my GPS. It's like living in the future. Hey, I agree. The new GPS are they're cool. I'm so hungry. I think I could eat a whole pizza myself. Uh, me too. All right, then, Harp. Operation Pizza Pit Stop is on the go. Prepare to land. A $3 for extra cheese. Veggies. Mushrooms for... Oh, no way. Hey, let me in. Come on in, Harp. Thank you, Mr. Gentleman. This just in. Reports of a strong snowstorm coming towards Woodbury tonight. Residents are recommended to stay indoors and keep warm during this time. Let's check in with our field reporter. How's the weather out there, Phil? Oh, it's is that so cold out here? I, I can't feel my hands. Is that like, uh, the studio sort of uh, is that queso? Snow gear instead of buying that new coffee machine? I'm sure you'll be fine. You can have some coffee when you get back to the studio. Jerry, no. do not be serious. You know my doctor said not to drink any caffeine. Sounds like someone's having a bad day. Maybe you should <laughs> cool off. You little shit. Why can't you go out here and deal with the snow Maybe? instead of me? I've been working here for six years and I never get to report somewhere nice. Listen, Phil, I'm just clearly the better looking one. You can worry about where you'll report once you get that rhinoplasty. Ooh. Rhinoplasty? Why would I need rhinoplasty? My face looks what? perfectly fine. You could also use some Botox while you're at it. Actually, maybe you should just work as a studio light engineer behind the camera. I think it would be better field of work for you. You only got your job because your sister works at the mixing board. Whoa. You would have never been able to We're work here. No if it blows wasn't now. For her. I'd like to see you work the ENG sometime. How dare you? I'm a certified news anchor. Certified? It has to My be case, so, bro. Okay. You didn't do shit. Right. How about I come by the studio and we settle this like that? Oh, yeah? Well, let's do it, punk. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Oh, he's marching down there. Okay. Are you exhausted and desperately need a break? Is your nine to five stressing you out? Uh, uh, Take a vacation uh, with rentacabin.com. Uh, we offer thousands of cabins. Hey, Mike, we're on TV. Accessible with the All right, let's get some food. Let's get some food. The thing is that things are always happening. See, I could have missed. I got to blow my nose. I got to blow no. my nose. Evening, folks. Looks like the cold. It's got everyone craving pizza tonight. Oh, yeah. Fine, folks. Wait, what? You find folks know what you want to eat? A pizza? We'll get three slices each. Ooh. Wait, what? Okay, I'll go with pepperoni, cheese, and a veggie. And for you, miss, I will take... Oh, margarita. I haven't had margarita. I'm going to be honest. Someone take me out. Most special pepperoni. I, I don't remember what most special said. Did it say something? We'll take the special. Second slice. Okay, we'll take margarita. And third, we'll... Oh, it's Good old pepperoni. Any drinks for you folks? That should cover us. Just the pizza today. Thanks. Alright then. Six hot slices coming right up. 22 feety. We could have just ordered a whole pizza. Big dog. From Domino's. Or somewhere else. I don't know. I, I, I couldn't think of another place. A 22 feet. This, this, and you know what? It's it's a um, family owned restaurant. Support the local businesses. The order number is 27. Just grab a C and we'll call you when your pizza is ready. You know what I think? Okay, okay. This this had to have taken place on December 9th. I'm just saying. 27. This had to have taken place on December 9th. I'm just going to say it. Are we going to sit down? Okay. Any more commercials? or How good is that? Oh, this guy's going in. Okay. It's good as fuck. Bet sit down don't oh pepperoni and mushroom oh okay good nice mushroom is good i'm glad i got the most special okay. oh oh yeah we're oh. did you listen to nora's voice message the group chat let's add a chat no way no nora 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 we're not doing this nora i'm getting tired of you nora i was gonna read all this i kind of do want to still okay okay well, let's 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 get some context behind this nora kim Friends forever. Wait, friends three ever. Oh, because there's three of us? Ah, I get it. I get it. Okay. Did you guys hear about Taylor and Baxter? Oh, we're gossiping now. Okay. Let me guess. Baxter got her pregnant and now they're playing a Star Wars themed baby shower. I can see it now. A birth announcement that says the force is strong with this one. 
Mikey. They tied the knot and told me they didn't get married. I didn't get an invitation. Mike, you're the biggest nerd I know. Other than the Baxter, he would totally do that. This is so cute. All you need is love. The Beatles. Okay, okay. A little engagement. Oh, no. They're married, married, married. My bad. They're in the tuxedo. Ah, uh, so happy for them. They make me believe in love again. Right? I always thought they were so cute together. I remember Taylor telling me how they met at the Beatles tribute concert in high school. It's too stinking cute. That's goals. College friends are moving on with their lives and getting married. And I'm here busting my ass revising designs for a company I don't even care about. A lot of people feel that way. Seriously, I feel you, girl. May as well put a bed in my office because it feels like I live here. We're practically zombies at this point. Exactly. And I miss the city. My social life's officially dead. Cerakus. Does, it just doesn't hit the same. I don't know what that is. Can't believe it's been a year since the last time we saw each other. Ladies, I have a proposal. That's the same kind of Baxter hat for Taylor, but a proposal nonetheless. That's good, Michael. That's more good. Mike, Mike. That's good, Mike. How about we find a rental house this winter and somewhere in Vermont, maybe? We can just chill and relax for a weekend. I'm 100% serious. It'll be like college days. We can watch movies, eat junk food, whatever we want. Maybe we can get ha. I'm sure one of our old contacts will come through. That actually sounds like a great, great idea. Our own cozy little getaway for the weekend. A getaway? I don't know, Mike. Sounds like a lot of work. Plus, I'm swamped right now. My boss just dropped two new clients on me this week. Think about it, Harpy. Okay. A weekend away from all the stress. No work, no deadlines. It'll be like a girl's trip. But with Mike. You say it like it's a bad thing. I don't know, guys. I'll go back with you guys after I think it over. Like so, like so. Honestly, the more I think about it, the more I like the idea. That's the spirit, Harpy. Let's make it happen. I'll ride them in. There better be one involved. All right, good deal. I'll bring some pizzas. I'll bring some pizza supplies. It's not the kind of wake and bake Mikey has in mind, but it'll be so good. Harpy, would you mind taking the lead on the booking? Okay, December six. Uh, take it. Yeah. Okay. Make me book it. I. Yeah, I could. I could book it. What is this? Here's the thing, guys. I'm on a tight budget. Like. I'm eating ramen noodles for every meal, kind of tight. Okay, that's fine, that's Not fine. Not to mention, I really need to put a new set of tires on the car. If we could find something in the ballpark of $100 per night, I think I can still make it work. Wait! I don't know. Let me know if that's okay with you. I hope I get to see you both soon. <laughs> oh, my, my hair's a little crazy. I did my own haircut. Don't, don't judge me. Man, is that, is that, that's Lily Pichu, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's Lily Pichu, bro. We'll check the other one. We got you, girl. Cheap and cozy. Also cheap, Harpy. It makes me sound, well, cheap. We know you're a millionaire at heart, Nora. The fanciest woman we know. We're on the road, Nora. Let us know when you get, when you get going, okay? Let's see what Nora has to say. Oh, you guys are going to hate me. I swear, I'll get on the road as soon as I can. But something last minute popped up. I'm not going to bore you with all of the details. The long and short of it is one of my clients needs a last minute change. Their payments are about the only thing keeping the lights on. I hate to leave so late, but I gotta keep them happy. I'll have this logo done before you know it and be on my way. That was that was great, Lily. That was great. I don't know her like that, but I used to watch her uh, back in the day. Nora, please be careful. Hey, that you're leaving so late. Drive slow and don't worry. I'll make sure Harp stays up to let you in. All right, Nora's gonna be a little late. We gotta stay up, that's fine. You know, it's a weekend. We could stay up a little later, wake up a little later. That's cool. All right, that's cool. Let's get our pizza though. Oh, well, hold on. Before, I haven't played four, so I don't know what kind of cameos they had in four, but I'm just saying, hey, after this series popped off, it, it, their budget went up. I'm just saying, their budget went up. Talk to him. Did you listen to Nora's voice message in the group? Yep, just saw it. Looks like she'll be late. That's a bummer. I guess we'll have to start the fun without her. What can we do? Well, I think we should have gotten her some pizza. You know, she could have heated it up later on throughout the night. Don't not like you don't know what I'm talking about. A little passive aggressive there. Order number 27. You folks are right here. All right, let's go. I'm hungry. Like me, not me in game. What was my name again? I thought he got three slices. He got four. Nah, we gotta, come on, we gotta fix this. That's a bug. Let me get mine, though. 
All right, you're all set. Thanks. All right, but it's munching on these. Let me get let me get this one first. Okay, okay. Oh damn, this pizza slaps. Can't believe Nora's missing out on this bomb ass pizza. I know, right? I gotta finish the slice. Uh, I don't remember putting leaves on my pizza though. Let me get this one. Did I? Nah, this is your box, bro. I didn't get veggies. That's fine. That's fine. I'll pick around it. That's what they say, right? Oh. Hey there, my friends. What's up, big dog? Saw you pull in driving that nice old truck. Are you watching who pulls in and taking notes? Not at all, my friend. I just noticed that you seem to be heading the same direction as I was. You don't mind if I hitch a ride with you? I don't know, it's snowing and you, you sitting in the back. I, I don't want you to get, you know, sick. Where's your car? Well, we don't want to judge people just because they don't have cars. Just heading where the road takes me. I'm a bit of an adventurer, psyching the trails and seeing the country. So what do you say? Here to give this free spirit a ride down that snowy road? Uh, I'm not driving. So, surely you can find just a little bit of room for, for me. I can ride in the middle. Hell, I'll ride in the bed. Hey, if you ride in the bed, that's fine. But we're gonna have to check your belongings. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, friend's car, I'm sorry. We will give you a ride, but there isn't any space. Ah, he said he would take the bed, but it's not my car. You gotta be shitting me, lady. No space. I know there's a middle seat. You scared me or something? I'm sorry. You're too kind, are you? Unkind people meet unkindness themselves. You best be careful out there. Are you threatening us? No, no, no. Y'all got me all wrong. Sorry, sorry, I'm just cold and tired. That's all. Yeah. Thanks. Let me enjoy my pizza with leaves on it. That was weird. Well, Michael, I think you should have stood up for us. I think you should have been the one talking. I'm just saying. You didn't even order anything. I feel bad for the guy, though. After all, these years you're still that same old harp. I don't know what that means. Is that it? I'm done. I'm done. Oh, we eat the crust too. I know this person that didn't eat their crust when we went to eat, man. The crust was so good. It was like this, this dining place, man. He should have ate his crust. I wasn't going to be like, hey, bro, can I get your crust? It's kind of weird. That's kind of that's weird. I didn't know him like that, you know. You actually eat the crust? Oh, what the hell? It's kind of a wasteful not to, don't you think? I'd eat a tire if I was hungry enough. Fair enough. But eat someone else <laughs> but eating someone else's tire, we still got a bit of driving to do. Let's get out of here, big dog. Oh Lee, that was good. Alright then, are you ready to hit the road? Maybe we can beat the worst of the snow. We Give me the keys. Of cabins readily available I don't know. I'll be whipping it like. Nah, I'm just kidding. I don't be whipping it, chill. I drive safely. Harp, the cabins. weather's awful. Why don't you drive part of the now, way home? Well, well, what did I pick? What did I just pick? Did I say give me the keys? To I'm gonna drive so you can get a break. Take notch. a break while I drive, Michael. We have many sure. From, I'm afraid of what kind of break friendly. you're going to give me, Harp. You'll be afraid if you don't give me the keys. That's a threat. Give so me the key so we can go. That's another threat. Visit Fine, but there's one condition. The I can first show the bedrooms when or if we get there. You can beat me, mm. but you can never sure. Beat the taste of UFO it's kind of weird. We weird deal. I got a text. Uh, okay. X uh, heart XD heart. All right, let's get out of here. 5:49 p.m. December 9th. I'm assuming. Good evening, Vermont. This is your host on WKWB, your hometown station. Oh snap! Oh snap! It was a little. Hey, cop! Oh, I almost hit him. The season, I wasn't trying like to. Perfect song to set the mood. So here's a track that'll make you feel right at home. Coming up next. Is this? Be sincere. I can't hit mine. I guess for the most about it, I guess it just 
one thing I don't wanna talk hey. about was wanna ride Burn Catch me up on the mic, spitting what I like I'm mm -hmm. reminiscing all friends I'm missing Maybe I can find them if they're still in my distance Like, I don't mean shit weird, but come on man, Skirt! We're gonna be here a hundred years, so let's appear All night, man, don't fight, man I'm trying to be something for nothing Better slow down here! That's my fault, that's my fault they need to let me move with the mouse. It's a little more accurate or something. We need to play this one. This is a little too sad, bro. I don't like sad ones. Okay. I mean, the bobblehead likes it, but... I just prefer, you know, some upbeat music. You know, we're on vacation. Let's get hyped. Let's probably sleep. Oh, he ain't asleep. Oh, snap. Yeah, we're good. Everything's good. Wood very, wood very Vermont. Which one we get? We get, we got the. Oh, no one's behind me. Never really did. Maybe. Oh, we could have turned it off. I'm not trying to say. No. Oh, snap. <laughs> That's my fault. My legs fell asleep for one second. That's my fault, too. I was out of practice while driving. No, no. The brakes just aren't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to get your brakes checked, big dog. That's, that's what it is. Oh, no, we're good. Very cold night. It was a quaint little house in a quiet neighborhood. He just brought a cooler. He didn't bring no change of clothes or nothing. He said he showered before we came here. I'm just saying, he should have his, like a pack of clothes. What would his, if he put his clothes in the cooler? That's a little weird. Come on, Mike. What's a little bunch of cops driving around here? We gotta write that down. I had to get the key from the lockbox. It's been a host for two months. Write that down. Home sweet home. Is that engraved or with the snow? It has to be engraved. Lo I don't know what a lockbox is. I've never been to these cabin getaways. No one invites me. Chill out. It's, uh, yeah, I have no idea. I'm stuck. Slide to open. Come on, who didn't see that? Five. Is that not it? Oh. It's okay. See, these are too advanced for me, man. Let's get in there. Come on, Mike. I'm already irritated. All right, let's lock it. What a great gate back up, bro. I'm not. Uh, come on. We're friends. I knew we could count on you. It smells so nice in here. I, I guess. Really? I mean, right? But I need to hit the joint. Ah, what? I need to hit the john. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. While I'm gone, can you put these groceries away? Should be enough space in the fridge. Sure. The housing was cozy and furnished. I had to open uh my bad. Here we go. Milk. Oh no, open back up. What was that? Eggs, yogurt, lettuce, tomatoes. I'm gonna set it here, Mike. Don't forget it's there. Back up, bro. Ooh, sorry about that harp. Long drive and all that pizza really did a number on me. Hang on, I really need to pee. Uh, well, all the groceries are put away. Uh, the groceries are away. Anyway, this place looks crazy nice. It's got that rustic charm you just don't see anymore. Sounds good over from the city. Yeah, it's cute, I guess. And, alright. I'll start unpacking... Huh? Yeah, you better not go through my bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's insane. Mike, 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 you a little crazy, big dog. I'm just gonna say it. Smell alone told pizza. I really don't remember on Mike. Oh, snap. Dang, Mike. I would have waited a little bit. Or I would have gone to the upstairs ones. Let's go. I'm just saying. Can we... All right, bet. I hate to admit it, but I didn't wash hands. Oh, yeah, I did. Ooh, you feeling better after the drive? 
Much better now. Red chicks, but it sounds good to me. After you, after no, no, I gotta wash my hands. Wash my hands. I didn't forget. I didn't forget. I just I didn't know it was in the game. All right, let's go. I guess we just go. I'm gonna check if you went through my stuff, Mike. Don't think I ain't checking that. First thing I'm checking this is my room right here, huh? That's his room. I don't know who that is. Who are you, bro? You scared us. Oopsie daisy. I didn't mean to. Welcome to my home, sweet home. What a lovely young couple. Now nah, we're just friends. What's up? Oopsie daisy, silly me. We didn't expect anyone to be here. Oh, um. I was out looking for my cat earlier and I remember the TV has been on the fritz here. Thought I'd stop by and try to get it working again since the last few folks left a bad word for it. You know, they say treat your guests like family. My family doesn't go without TV. He said. Speaking of that, why's not why's Mike not talking to the guy? We need Mike talking to the guy. I know I'm the main character, but come on, we we could have worked something out. Maybe if Mike did talk to him. Maybe we see the POV of Mike talking to him, you know? You gotta handle this, Mike. Now that you folks here are here, let me show you around my sweet home. What? It'd be a bad owner if I didn't give you the grand tour. I guess. Go ahead, Mike. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Host was a middle-aged man with nervous energy. What's that? Okay. Right from the start, his princess made us uncomfortable. Ah, hit him in the face. Mike, come on. All right, that's fine. Here's your shower. That thing will make you feel like you're bathing under a waterfall in the Amazon jungle. Oh, the sink doesn't work, unfortunately. Not to worry, though. I'll get a fix for you real soon. Nah, I think I'm okay. I use the bottom one. You're downstairs. I'm show sure you the other bedroom now. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. The carp. This room has a nice, a nice ass view. You think that's nice, Mister? Wait till I show you the deck. Follow me now. Let me see. Are you coming, Miss? Yeah, let me, let me look around too, man. You'll be going too quick. That's why people leave a bad review. Well, you usually don't get tours of the house either, so. Okay, balcony. I mean, deck. Same thing. Holy smokes, this is incredible. Incredibly cold. Glad you folks like it. This is one of my favorite spots. The view of the creek is beautiful. It's a great spot for fishing, too. All right, folks. Let's head back in before I catch a cold here. Where's his car, though? You know what I mean? I'm just saying. Okay. I'm assuming Mike's gonna take this one. Okay, oh, open the closet. Yeah, you gotta be able to hide here, right? Yeah, yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Okay. Little sneak peek, you know. Okay, okay. Here's the storage room. If you need anything, tools, extra blankets, whatnot, it's all in here. If the power ever goes out, you can use this flashlight here on my on my right. Storms like these, you never know. Thanks. All right, folks, let's head downstairs. Take that. What up, bro? All right, well, that's fine. We're, we're gonna put it here. Hey, he's got chicken my food. See, you already stocked up the fridge with some tasty food. You see the knob? Turn the knob up more for cooling and down for, to cool it off. It tends to keep it in low in the winter. The bill gets out of control. Speaking of winter, I'm gonna show you folks the water heater. Okay. Little fancy faucet. Hey, 
might get out of the way. I should have brought my flashlight. Couldn't open the door. Um, nothing to worry about down here. Just the water heater and some old storage stuff. If it ever stops working, just hit the button at the bottom. The pilot light will fire right up and you'll be back in business. Are you coming, miss? I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, he's got to tell me something? Hey, sir, what's the deal with the room over there? Nothing. Concerned with yourselves. No access to guests. I kind of use this basement as storage. Rangers don't need the space. They really ought to keep upstairs. Okay, well, I was just curious. Let's move on. Can we go? Did I mention? Well, no. Maybe I ought to keep it to myself. The fella I bought this house from, well... Told me his mother died down there. Some guests have reported hearing voices at night. Say they could hear something shuffling around down here. Not scare you folks, but if I were one of you, I wouldn't really step down here. Damn, boy. He needs to learn to back up. Ha ha ha. The looks on your faces. Come on now. I'm just joking. Jokes. He got jokes. At this point, my creep meter was quietly pinging around 6 out of 10. Alright, folks. No starting to pick up. I'm gonna hit the road now. Gotta find that cat. Damn cat. Thanks for showing us around. Anytime. I mean, what? What? By the way. What was the name of the booking? It must be getting, I must be getting old. It's Sydney. Ah, Sydney. That's right. Oh, hold up. He should know. I texted him. I'm gonna say, well, nah, I, okay, I guess. Sure, it's getting old. That's fishy, though. That's fishy. A pretty name for a pretty girl. I guess you could say that it's anybody. Even a dude. Is it just me or is that super weird? Very weird. Anyways, let's go see if there's anything good on TV. Actually, I'm gonna take a quick shower and check my luggage. Cool. I'll find something to watch while you're in there. Let me know if it feels like you're under a waterfall. What a weird guy. Thanks. See you in a bit. Oh, yeah, because he mentioned. Yeah, I know. I know. I know what he meant. We're leaving all the doors open. Let's get in here. What up? Oh, I left my, left my air on. My bad. That's cool. Cool little 30 seconds. Make sure he's not here. Oh, snap. I guess this is my room. It should have been like, oh, I got to go to my luggage to get my clothes, you know? I heard door open. Okay, let's go. Dang, homie, you good? Hey, Harp, check this out. I found this fishing rod in that shed. Ooh, we just looking through people's things now? Plan to catch dinner? Now that you mentioned, that would be a pretty epic addition to the trip. I don't know, it's cold out there. Come on, Harp, what would make this trip more epic than catching our own freaking dinner? I guess. Hell yeah, follow me. There's another road rod in the shed so we can both give it a shot. Okay. I thought I heard a car though. It was Nora. Let's lock ourselves out. Now you know we don't want to let the cold air in. You want to grab the other fishing rod? Yeah. Just give me a second. Uh, Alright, I'm ready. We need some bait. I saw a killer recipe for a baked carp. We'll need to catch three carp though. You up for the challenge? Oh yeah. Well, first things first. We need the right bait for the carp. Check out this bait information board. Whenever you're ready, grab a carp bait and we'll head to the creek. We're gonna catch some carp. Harp. Alright. Let me get the bait. Let me get the bait. We'll ignore his. Trying to be funny. It's not on here. 
What are we looking for? Carp, common carp. Just cheese the light, okay? Let's go. Put it on the hook. Nice. Oh. That's nice. Creek back here. Got up. I hope this carp is biting today. What do we got? What we got that out here? Maybe to make a campfire. There we go. Easy. Let's get in there. Quick learner. Let's go. We'll keep it. They say whenever there's one carp, there's always more. Why? Why? I gotta get another one. Where's your carp? Huh? All right, we'll, we'll, we'll get another one. Oh, got me another one. Oh, wrong way. Yup. Oh, I'll keep that one too. It's not quite the fish we're aiming for today. We need carp. Keep trying. Wow. Call me carp. Nice. One more carp. Oh, yeah. Let me do all the work. Call me carp. All right. Looks like you want... Uh, we got three carp. Do you want to head back and throw these in the oven for dinner? Let's do it. I hope y'all know how to clean them. And cook them. How do I? Oh, okay. We should have taken it. Inside. Okay. I thought we were going to put them back. It's my fault. Well, I'm cleaning the fish. Do you mind prepping the marinade? Sure. Just take a bowl and throw in ginger paste, cooking oil, black pepper, salt, Italian seasoning, paprika, and yogurt. I would love to put this fishing rod down. Why is this door open? I closed it. Maybe I can't put it back. There we go. Don't think I need eggs. All the food's gonna spoil. Okay, okay, I'm doing it. Yogurt? No. Uh, olive oil and yogurt. Yogurt. There we go. Okay, now what? Where do you go? Oh. You mind throwing the fish in the marinade in the casserole while I chop the fish? Okay. Okay. Oh, in the oven. My bad, my bad. Oh, my bad, my bad. One more. One for Nora. Come on. Two carbs. Uh, could you add the veggies? I already need to go for 30 minutes at 400 degrees, okay? There we go. We're set. This carp are going to taste amazing. We'll wait for, for it to cook. How about we play some board games? I saw some in the room next to the living room. Which one? Just grab whatever catches your eye. Can't wait to see what you pick. I saw some in the room next to the living room. I wonder if Mike maybe like paid Nora because you know she's not she ain't got that much money like hey you know make an excuse once that you're gonna be late and then make another excuse that you're not gonna come that's a little little theory just throwing it out there I'm not saying Mike's a bad guy or anything but you know it's just a little theory something to think about oh this okay 
We're not playing that one. I'll tell you that. We'll just play something quick. Trying to eat. Tower stack. Nice. It's been ages since I played this. Totally. It's been a long time for me too. We could see how steady those hands are. Oh, you gotta say that. We're back. Took a little took a little break. Whenever you're ready. This one. Drag to draw the loop. Oh, they don't know I'm nice with it. That's where they messed up. Mike don't know I'm nice with it. Well, I did get to pick the game too, though, so. Your tower block game is seriously on point. Oh, late to. Oh, why? Why? I really have done myself here. Oh, yeah. Where'd that song go? I'm a star, I'm a star, something like that. Yeah, what's up? You're a pro harp. You can't get the top one. This guy cheated. Am I supposed to lose on purpose? Okay, no. Okay, nice. You wanna go again? Nah, I'm good. You play too slow. It was a fun game, Harp. You did really well. Thanks, Mikey. Alright, the carp should be just about done. Let's grab some plates. I'm starving. You want some juice? I'll get you some juice. If you know where that's from, what's up? I think our show is about to come on. You want to watch the TV while we eat? Our show? What you talking about? I guess. I didn't get her no option, so. Oh, yeah, let me get. Oh, yeah, no, we got the juice. We got the juice. Should I take these? Okay. Hey, limes. Hey, limes are pretty good. I, I just had half a lime with my water. I should have tried to sit, uh, sit on the other seat. But it's cool. It's cool. Let me get. Oh, wait. I didn't even get mine. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got to put the fish. Oh, okay. I was like, okay, okay, okay. We have to catch that show on TV while we ate. I don't have the controller. Oh, no way. I have to turn it on too? I'm not gonna lie. This is gonna taste Kinda like insane. shit. We gotta just sit down. No, not even. Anyway, no, no. Wow. Wow, Matt. Instructions. Michael, this Michael. Is my bad. Not Matt. The mayonnaise. We, we got it injected with a little anesthesia to make sure it doesn't revolt against us. It gets very Made angry it. once it knows we're go. trying to cook it. After doing that, we mix all the ingredients together in a tray and place it inside the oven. Okay, and while that's cooking, we can start on the appetizer. Gasoline-soaked ramen. Now, this dish is extremely hard to make. A dish only for experienced cooks. You don't, it requires you don't eat the head, right? Patience and skill. I was done with it. What yep. you will need is uh, that's some damn fine food. Plus, it's good since we caught ourselves, cut the fish ourselves. It this was really good. Really we make a great team heart. Hey, anyways, like a, I need I need to check my cleanse. emails real quick. Left my laptop upstairs. We begin by that we were taking a break from work. Into this it's not work. I'm just waiting on sure not shipment details for my new DMs. Really bad for you. Maybe do people do that? They wait for shipment had. details? I just order it. Do not use diesel. It'll be here the 27th. All right, man. So All right, I'll do the dishes until then. Fully soaked. Turn that off. Dishwashing. That wasn't Mike. Because why would he close a door? You know what I mean? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'll at least put it back. Uh, I think there's someone under my bed right now. Can you come upstairs? What? Why would you not come downstairs? So we can handle it, you know? Like, hey, maybe, maybe we need a weapon while we call the police. You know? All right, what room was he? My flashlight's gone. I don't need it right now, though. 
Don't make sounds, walk slow. I don't know how. Under my bed. It has to be this one. Why the door closed? Did I close it? No, it wasn't me. I thought that was his room. I thought this was my room. Cause I had the nice shower and everything. Gotcha. You're lucky to break your nose. A good looks are half my charm, Harp. Don't mess them up. I totally got you. That was fun, wasn't it? Whatever. Come on, it was just a joke. You wanna go for the next round? Next round. How about I give him a hide and seek? Okay, I'll get you back for this. Whatever you say, Sydney Harper. Alright, you're on. I count to ten. So I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to hide in the closet. Decided to hide in the basement. Okay. Because I'm not pretty sure. Ooh, hold up. I don't know. If the guy said, like, hey, you know, let's not go into the basement, then we shouldn't go to the basement. You know? I'm just saying. Gotcha. That wasn't even a challenge. I figured you would. Uh, I figured you'd be good at this, since I can never find you in the city. All right, my turn to hide now. You better close your eyes and start counting. Mike was hiding. Close my eyes, I guess. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, ten Mississippi. Ready or not, here I come. Let's go. Where you at? You gotta be in here, right? Hmm. Did we say outside? No limits? You know? I don't know if we pointed that out or not. He's not in the shed. Right, let's check upstairs. Not in here. He could be in here. Yeah, got you. Hang on, Harper. I think I heard something upstairs. Uh, we are upstairs. Fool me one shim on you. Fool me twice. No kidding, Sydney. I really heard something sliding up there. You didn't hear it? No, did not. I swear on my life, I heard something. See this attic X store in here. Are you gonna check it out? Alright, let me check it out. You're taller than me. Why don't you go? I think my shoulders are too broad to fit to there, Sydney. But one of us really should look. Why are you hiding these broad shoulders, Mike? Seriously, Sydney, I don't think I would fit through. Use that step stool behind and climb up. Okay. What are they talking? Put it where? Oh, okay. Why would you close it? That's insane, Mike. 
Hey, big dog, I'm gonna need you to stop. Here we go again. Oh, I needed the flashlight for this section, huh? Psych! Nice, nice. Who's this? Mm. The cat. What up, kitty? You gonna follow me? This way, this way. What was that up there? It was just a cat. Looks like you're the only pussy in this house. <laughs> what do you mean by that? It was just a cat. And that's a relief. I was worried there for a minute. I think she was hungry. Oh yeah, maybe we can give her one of the carp after I come find you again. Huh? I decided to hide in the tool shed in the backyard. So we're gonna ignore the cat's hunger. And say, you know what, let's play one more round. Fine. I'm gonna leave the door open so it finds me a little faster. Can I? Here he comes. There's a guy in the house. There you are. Oh, bro. There's a guy in the house, homie. Dang, Harper. It took me a while to figure out you left the house. Anything worth doing... Anything worth doing is worth doing well. My turn and close those pretty eyes now. Whoa. Just relax, Mike. I'm getting tired. Look, I'll hide in the house. We're headed back in anyway. You find me and we'll go to bed. One. Ten. Coming. Uh, it was a very cold night. It was indeed. I'm assuming he's going to be downstairs. Couldn't open the door. Door. Nothing here. Music change. Maybe he came for the cats? But I mean, I don't know. That's a stretch. And I'm assuming they want me to use the lights. For when like the power goes out. Hmm. Okay. Guess he's in the shower. What's going on? What happened? Well, hey there. Why the hell are you back here again? I'm fixing the faucet. You got a problem with that? You should have told us. Miss, this is my house. I don't need to check in with you ever, every time I fix something. I've never seen anyone fix a faucet with a hammer before. You ever fix many faucets yourself, young man? Didn't think so. So I imagine you don't you don't know what tools you need. How long you been here? Just got here a couple minutes ago. If you heard anything before that, it must have been that old lady, remember? Do you think maybe you could fix it tomorrow? You're asking me to leave? No, Rick. Just being polite. We're into this house and we would like it, like to have it to ourselves. We don't really want. I have to call law enforcement. Mike, please handle this. Like, yeah, Mike, come on, do something for once. Ain't no cops in Woodbury, son. You think they're going to arrest the homeowner for fixing the faucet? I was just doing some work. If you can't handle that, it's your problem, not mine. You know what? If you folks don't like me fixing the faucet, I'll leave you to it. Yeah, that's right. Get out of here, boy. Yeah, what's up, bro? Get out of here. Yeah, what up? What's your hundred dollars a night? Cheap ass. Even though that's all we could afford. Yeah, what's up? Get out of here. Where's your car? Okay, let me walk you out. Hey, no, what the fuck, Mike? Okay, so what? Now we're in bed, maybe? Now, now, you know, separate rooms. After locking the door with the bed, what's? Oh yeah, cause Nora's coming after we go to bed, so she's coming around night, nighttime.
We should have locked the door. Every time I go anywhere, I lock the door. Friend's house. Hey, I locked the door, big dog. All right, all right. It's cool, it's cool. All right. You got to lock the door. I lock my car door when I get out. I can lock my car door when I get in. Lock it every time. We agreed that there was something off about Rick from the start. He seemed like he enjoyed making excuses to come over unannounced. In the end, we decided Rick was weird. But probably harmless. We attributed his behavior to an extreme lack of social awareness. Ah, I can see it, I can see it. Look, we already drove all the way out here. Let's just enjoy ourselves, Mike said. But by the time I was feeling really tired, I decided to get some rest, you know? 11.39 p.m. Yeah. Whew. My bad, huh? Had some carrots with a little bit of lettuce, lime juice, salt. Who's knocking, man? Still awake? I'm awake, Mike. Hard to sleep when someone's knocking on the door. Do you mind if I come in? I'd like to talk about something. What? The storm's starting to get really bad. I can hardly see the truck in the driveway. I hope Nora's okay. It's really gone pretty bad. I hate that Nora's out there all alone. Yeah, I think we should have picked her up. A little quick little scoop. Like, you know. Oh, shit. I think we should have picked her up. In my opinion. She says she's having trouble with, uh, she could have told us about the tire. I think she did. I think she did tell us about the tire. We should have gone the extra hour to pick her up and, you know, in my opinion. She'll be just fine, Sydney. Don't worry. I'm here to keep you safe. Or she could have came to the CD, dropped her car off. Don't worry. I'm here to keep you safe. What? Hey, it's no problem at all. Guys are supposed to watch people over over people they care about, right? What are you talking about? What a day, huh? This wasn't exactly how I thought our getaway was gonna go, Sydney. I told you, Mike's a little strange. I told you, I told you. It's been a strange day. Can you believe that guy? He just keeps wandering around the house like he owns the place. Ah, he kinda does. I wish he would just cut it out. I thought you may be scared in here by yourself. I mean, I am a little freaked out. Hey, big dog. Why don't you come sit by me, Sydney? I'm not liking this vibe. Can we text Nora? Hey, Nora, what's up, girl? Nora? Nora? I know you're you going like 10 miles an hour right now. You can check your phone a little, a little quick. No, I won't tell no one. Ain't no cops in Woodbury. They ain't gonna stop you. Assuming she's in Woodbury. We never fit the cat, huh? I guess that had to cut, that, cut out that part of the story. Maybe City was like, we just, it was like, we just fed it. You know, that's it. Not much to it. Why don't you come sit by me, sweetie? Huh? Sydney. Ah. Leaving already, Sydney? What you mean by that? I'm going to take the flashlight. I'm going to leave. can't leave I'm telling you Mike is just it's acting a little weird I'll sit down it's because I think that's the only thing I can do harp you know I've missed this us just talking it's been too long you know you don't have to sleep alone tonight if you don't want to would you be doing this if Nora was here? You act like you don't remember our trip to Oregon. I do remember it really well. I mean, technic- uh, Yeah, I remember it. I remember it. Oh yeah, do tell. I remember it being pretty awkward. It didn't start out awkward though. Mike, we had a lot to drink. Things happened. Oh, he got a little- Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I see. Sure did. I'm hoping maybe they can happen again. Mike, come on, relax. Relax. She's setting some boundaries right now. You're not catching the... You know? Mike, I, I've been meaning to talk... I mean, blah, 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 blah. I, we, we need to talk about that. You just let me worry about the details, Sydney. Mike, I don't think this is a good time. My girl Nora just texted. What up? SOS, please. Guys, I think I'm about 70 miles away from Woodbury, and my stinking tire just blew out. It's snowing, and I'm on the side of the road on Highway 11 near Killington. 
there's a sign by the side of the road. It's hard to see. I, I think it says Kent Pond. The snow is like half of a deep and I can't get the lug nuts off the tire. <laughs> I hate to ask, but can you two come get me? 70 miles. Girl, my name is 50. What a timing, huh? But I guess we can't leave North Stranded. Let me get dressed and I'll meet you downstairs. No, Sydney. You stay here and get some sleep. There's no sense in both of us freezing our asses off. I'm not liking this vibe. I'm not. I'm gonna tell you right now. Yeah, I'm sure you're in pajamas and I'm still dressed. You just settle in and I'll go help Laura. What did, what did he never change into his PJs? I mean, I'm not saying I got PJs, but you know. Like, at least change into it like something a little more comfortable. You know. I always like doing nice things for you, Sydney. Please be careful. So he's, 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 we'll finish talking about this later, okay? Get some rest and stay warm. Do you really feel like we have to? Oh, yeah, talk about it later. Yeah, yeah, we got to talk about it. We got to talk about it. I got a friends on you. I'll see you out, though. Let me get that. There's no sense. Okay, okay, I get it. Let me, okay, you got it. Why don't you get, uh, uh yeah. Are uh, you sure it's safe to drive in this weather? Don't worry, I've driven in worse. Besides, Norm's probably freaking out more than you right now. Probably right. Look, make sure you take take care of yourself, right? Lock all the doors. You sound like my dad. Can you blame me? Before I go, how about a hug? I mean, just in case you're asleep when I get back. I kinda need one right now. If you saw my Life is Strange episode, I don't really hug people I friends on. I don't, I don't know. Sure, sure. So dreams, get some sleep, Sydney. Drive safe, Mike. You better go that way. Are you going the wrong way? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, what up? Okay. I was keen on getting some sleep until Mike and Nora arrived. Okay, let's sleep. I told myself things would get better if I could just get some rest. Nora always knew how to cheer me up, and I needed it more by the minutes. With her arriving soon, I decided to rest in the meantime. 12.30 Oh, so... 70 miles, I guess it's not bad. It's not bad. Hold up. That's not Mike. Where's... It? Where's... It? Yeah. Where? Where's the truck? The realization that someone was outside this late at night was horrific. Who the fuck is this guy? I don't know. I guess I have to answer, I'm pretty sure. Do you have any idea what time it is? Look, friend, I know it ain't ideal banging your door in the middle of the night, but I'm in a bad spot here. I was counting on a ride from some friends, but they're running behind and won't be here for about two more hours. You can sit on the porch while you wait. Thanks, but I was hoping you'd let me wait inside until our friends get here to get me. You're not coming in, end of story. Are you kidding me? You're gonna let me freeze to death out here? I didn't make you go hiking in a snowstorm. I mean, you could give me some covers. You know, like, hey, you know, they're in the back porch. You're welcome to get them. Stay warm. I don't know. I should have known you'd be a, as big a bitch here as you were back at the pizza joint. Oh, it's that guy. I think I didn't see you and your little boyfriend fishing in the creek earlier. I figured maybe you'd give me a chance this time. But it looks like you're still unkind. Can't call the cops. We know that. Ain't no cops around here. Speaking of, I don't see your fella's truck out here either. I'm downing now. I'm downing 911 now. Fine. Suit yourself. What do you mean by that? What you finna do? Yeah, walk away. But let me tell you something. Let me tell you something! Let me tell you something! No, you let me tell you something! You know where that's from, what's up? You'll get what's coming to you for leaving me out here. Karma's a bitch, my friend. The man at the door seemed irrelevant compared to how tired it was. 
Gonna keep my eyes open. Had to get some sleep. All right, let's get some sleep. It was like what twelve thirty nine. Can we get up? This, this sound effects makes me think it's the end. What is that, tomato? At this point, I had no choice but to call for help. Oh, did he fall? What do you mean? Messages. Uh, Rick, I'm sorry to bother you. But can you come back over? There's someone we met driving down here. He was banging on the door and started threatening me. I'm pretty scared and I think I heard him moving around outside the house. Could you please come look since you live so close? We need to send our SOS. Okay. Can we check through the back of here? See, like, I could've been like, hey, here's your blankets, big dog, and throw them over. Hey, what the fuck? Did they put that ladder there? You know what I mean? Could have been like, hey man, here's all the blankets you need to stay in the porch. Your friends come in two hours. Who's this? It's this guy. Despite how strange Rick had been, seeing him was a relief. What the hell's going on here? Rick, I'm glad you came. Explain the situation. Yeah, I came as quickly as I could. I wouldn't worry about him anymore. What do you mean by that? By the way, where's your friend? The guy who was with you earlier. Oh, Mike, he went, he went, he went to get a friend. Uh, Nora. Huh. So you're all alone right now, huh? Yeah, but they'll be back soon. So I brought the hammer back. Are you gonna come fix the worst stuff? Yeah? Okay. Storms like this bring out- bring all kinds of folks. Now all of them know what to stay away. Come back over. What do you mean? I live in Burlington. I haven't been to the rental in weeks. You saw I checked my text. I didn't feel safe. I still didn't feel safe opening the door. I can't go anywhere. I have to talk to him. Everything okay, miss? Yeah. I feel like protecting, isn't it? Who are you talking to? It's my friends. They're almost here. Is that so? Yeah, thanks for coming by. I'll be fine now. You can head back if you want. You sure about that? Yeah, I just overreacted. Maybe I should stick around make sure everything's really okay. I think it's gonna get to the point where it says do not wreck. I need to leave right now. What did you say? This is my house. I will leave when I want to. What do you want? I want what's mine. This house. And you. You're trespassing. You need to leave right now. I don't think so. If anyone's leaving this house. It will be one of us. Hey. Oh, I'm dead. That is not how it ends. Yup, yup. Confront. No one's leaving the house. Assuming. Come down here.
Oh, snap. That's tough. That's tough. Where, where could I go? Where could I go? Maybe I'm I think maybe he gets No, okay. Kitty, you all right? Just got done talking with the other guest on the phone. I've called 911. Then we come down. Can't sprint. Wait, what happened to Rick? Oh, snap. Hey, Mike put some force into that. Told him everything that happened after Mike left. Rick called the cops. Storm Rick quieted by the time they arrived. And of course, the man was nowhere to be seen. On the drive back, the whole night played over and over in my head. Also, they, they ended up not staying there. I think that the man we saw secretly lived in that cabin when it wasn't being used and planned on robbing us during our stay. But cops seemed to think that there was more intent behind this man's actions aside from just robbing us. Rick asked me what the man looked like and after he didn't and after that he didn't ask any more questions. Yeah, homeowner. We think he knew more than what he was letting on, but in the end he gave us a full refund. So they're still a little suspicious about the homeowner. I didn't see no access to that. New supporter, okay, so Nora, Lily Pichu, Berlizzi, I'm Dante. A great way to end the series on a big budget. Okay, okay. Hey, if you see my name one there, you know, one day on here, they don't be surprised. <laughs> Thank you for playing Fierce to Fathom. Great series. Highly recommend it. Tell your favorite streamer to play if they haven't played it. Watch them live. YouTuber even comments. Hey, I haven't seen no fierce fathom on here. What's going on? You know something like that. I don't know. Anyways, that's it. I'll I'll come back to the um, Iron Bark Lookout. Just a lot of things coming out right now. A lot of games or a lot of you know things I'm catching up on on videos and stuff. Nevertheless, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you didn't, refresh the page and give it another chance. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time. I'ma walk around like Rocky cause I got something to prove. Where it go? Where's the time? I wish I could hear rewind. Get these thoughts about my mind. But I lose it every time. I want what we used to have. Even though it's just a past. But for now I gotta focus. Baby, focus on the cash. No limit. Fix the whole blend. I still can't feel it. Watch your heart cause I just might steal it. Me and my goons just some good time chilling.